Why is it that we often hear people talking about the pursuit of happiness as if it's the ultimate life goal? Well, there's a powerful message here, but let's dissect it and see if there's more to the story. When we talk about making happiness our life's goal, it's essential to acknowledge that happiness is not a constant state. Life is a journey with ups and downs, and there will be times when you're not happy. In fact, there might be years of your life when happiness seems elusive. So, if happiness is your sole aim, you're setting yourself up for a bumpy ride, like a shallow boat in a rough ocean. The idea that happiness should be your life goal is based on a misconception. Happiness doesn't always come predictably or stay with you permanently. It can be fleeting, and sometimes it seems to descend upon you like a pleasant surprise. When it does, it's something to be grateful for because life is filled with its fair share of suffering. But what if we shift our focus? Instead of making happiness the ultimate aim, what if we strive to become the best version of ourselves? That's the first thing you should be pursuing. You see, deep down, you know you're not living up to your full potential. We all have our share of guilt, shame, and regrets about our lack of discipline, procrastination, and other bad habits. You're aware that you can be more than you currently are, and it's time to embark on the journey of self-improvement. So, who could you be? That's a question worth exploring. You have untapped potential, and it's time to discover just how far you can go. Aim for the highest good that you can conceptualize. Your life is short and filled with challenges, and maybe it's an opportunity to do something truly meaningful with it. If you're going to strive for something, why not aim for the best possible version of yourself and work towards it? Part of this journey involves developing your character. It means shedding the unworthy parts of yourself and working on becoming the kind of person you admire. It's about strengthening your moral foundation and developing the resilience to endure the inevitable sorrows and challenges of life without becoming corrupted. You have a choice in life, you can either choose your limitations or let them catch up with you when you're older. If you wait until you're 30 or even 40 to confront your limitations, it can be a harsh awakening. You may find yourself in a place where you're still as clueless as you were in your early 20s but without the same forgiving environment of youth. As you grow, you need to leave the safety of your parents' shadow and step into the unknown. You need to take responsibility for your life, decisions, and actions. It's a moment of realization when you understand that your parents don't have all the answers, and it's up to you to figure out your path. This process can be painful because you'll need to let go of your old identity to embrace the new one. You can't fit back into your previous self after you've outgrown it. It's like trying to squeeze into clothes that no longer fit. You need to shed parts of your old self to make room for the new you. Your mission in life should be the constant improvement of your character. Engage in a dialogue with your conscience. Your conscience is like a guiding force, often telling you what you shouldn't be doing. The discipline of heeding your conscience's advice is the first step in self-improvement. It's about eliminating the negative aspects of your life and ceasing the actions you know are wrong. But remember, that's not the end goal. It's just the beginning. The real aim is to pursue positive good, not merely avoid evil. The path to self-improvement is about aiming for the highest good and constantly striving to reach it. To make progress in life, you need to step into the unknown. You must venture beyond your comfort zone because staying where you're comfortable won't allow you to grow. You already know what you know, but to truly evolve, you have to explore what you don't know. Your journey toward self-improvement is also a journey towards independence. You need to detach from your family and establish your own identity and life. While your family can provide support and protection, excessive protection can hinder your growth. Necessity is a powerful driver of personal development, and if you're shielded from it, you might find it hard to mature. Your mission is to grow, evolve, and become the best version of yourself. You must pick your poison, the challenges and sacrifices that will help you reach your goals. It's about making choices that align with your long-term aspirations, even if those choices come with their set of challenges and difficulties. You need to be willing to confront oppression, whether it's in your workplace or in any aspect of your life. 
It's about standing up for what you believe in and not allowing others to control or manipulate you. When you tolerate oppressive conditions, you compromise your self-respect, and that's a price too high to pay. Take a stand, assert yourself, and let your voice be heard. It's through courage and determination that you can overcome oppressive situations and regain control over your life. The alternative is to endure psychological and physical health issues that can result from prolonged oppression. One real-life example that illustrates the power of standing up to oppression is the civil rights movement led by Martin Luther King Jr. King and his supporters fought against racial segregation and discrimination in the United States. Their unwavering commitment to justice and equality brought about significant social and legislative changes. They faced violence, intimidation, and oppression, but their determination and nonviolent resistance ultimately prevailed. So, I challenge you to think about what you want in life. What are your goals and aspirations? What kind of person do you want to become? Leave a comment below, describing what you want in life right now. Remember, the journey to self-improvement and achieving your goals is not always easy, but it's immensely rewarding. It requires embracing the unknown, leaving your comfort zone, and standing up for what you believe in. As you work on becoming the best version of yourself, you'll find that happiness is not just a fleeting emotion, it's a byproduct of a life well lived. Don't wait for happiness to descend upon you, go out there and create it through your journey of self-discovery and growth. Before you go, help us by smashing that YouTube like button. And subscribe to this channel. So you won't miss any of our videos. This shows YouTube algorithm that you value our information. And it helps us spread the message. Sharing is caring.